So, you know, I'm sort of a bit peeved with this idea that sort of, um, NASA is full of the smartest people in the United States, or frankly even the world, and, you know, that um, their, their expertise should never be questioned, and this sort of thing, and that they're the brightest and the best. Well, um, you know, I've, I've been following like, the work of NASA for long enough, I think, to, to know that like one or two quite fishy ideas have actually come out of NASA that I'm aware of anyway. There's this idea of pumping water into the Yellowstone caldera, the supervolcano, to try and cool it down. But like what happens to water when you expose it to very high temperatures very rapidly? It would, doesn't it? If it's pressurised. Like the last thing you want. And then there's like the issue of terraforming Mars with nukes. Right. Like, well, the problem, by the way, it's still the same before, and like, like your nuking of Mars, it's not going to just terraform it like that, is it? Like, the problem is still the same as before cosmic ray particles keeping things alive. And why would like the nuking of a place make it more propitious to being populated with, you know, living organisms? That's uh, whatever, but. I mean, yeah, like one or two like quite funny ideas come out of NASA, I think. But I mean, when it comes to this SLS business, their new rockets, it's it's one of these things like you had the perfect rocket. You had the Saturn V. Like, why don't you just build a new Saturn V? It, the, it's the best rocket that's ever been built. The biggest. The Bet the most powerful, the biggest payload. It's capable of carrying the most to low Earth orbit. It's a rocket that, you know, really can get people to the moon. And it, it has demonstrated that. It, it, it's flown, you know, to the moon. Well, it's transported enough things, enough of a payload into space to get to the moon. It did sound just a bit like Elon Musk then. <laughs> Fucking hell, what's wrong with me? Anyway, like, it is. It's, that, now we've got, like, the SLS. That's the cheap man's Saturn V. I can't help it. It's just a, twang, a twinge to my... It's because I lived in the Netherlands. Yeah, that's it. That really is it, actually. Like, Elon Musk, South African, hence a Dutch ancestry. Me living in the Netherlands for a year and spending years trying to learn Dutch. <laughs> And French. And yeah. <laughs> I keep up with languages on the sides. Just have a tiny twinge to my accent that's not quite British. Yeah, whatever. Um but yeah, it's it's dispiriting to have to look at it. <laughs> it is like um you spent $26 billion on a new rocket that was supposed to outdo the Saturn V. You're grifted by Boeing. <laughs> like, like, we want a new moon rocket. Like, why? Like, uh, um... Well, we you know we thought of launching the Saturn V again, but we want something for the twenty first century. And blah, 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 blah. well, why don't you just launch a a slightly upgraded Saturn V? Um, we don't know how to do it. Like, na your NASA, you don't know how to do that. What do you mean? But, um, well, we, we don't, how to do that. why don't you know how to do that? Like, we lost, we lost the plan, you lost the plans for the Saturn V. Okay. <laughs> you can't reverse engineer, you got one in the Kennedy Space Center. Most of, uh, all of one. Yeah, yeah, even the problems like those engineers like figured out like to do with the the um the whirls of the thrust on the the uh, uh on the on the mixing head of the engines, yeah. 
So, you know, it was creating like little tornadoes of burning hydrogen. They, they fixed it with, with some bolt-ons. A little fucking grid of, I think, iridium or something with it. Something with a very high melting point. So... All, all the parts were machined by hand. Uh, yeah, it was the 60s. Everything was machined by hand. And what? The, uh, it was all like hand constructed and put together. Like, are they not hand? Are they not put together by hand today? Do, do robots do it now or something? Rockets are still handmade. <clears throat> oh, we've lost like all the engineering skills, and, you know. Oh, he's you know used to be like dusty people with slide rules and a and a, and a, and a, a old pencils stuck in the pocket, you know. That's what engineers used to be like. As on this computer nonsense today. Well, okay, fine, no, but um, it doesn't matter. I bet. I, also, I bet like not everything is three D printed. I bet a huge amount of it is machined by hand, and yeah, yeah you still got those people with technical skills. I know you do. I'm at a college with metal workers. I know you know like, they go out here like mm, you know they'll be machining stuff by hand. A lot of things, and you know eventually we'll be three D printing everything. But that is such a load of utter bullshit. Sorry to say that. That's just like a, a whimsical, folksy a bit of nonsense. So yeah, like NASA's come up with like one of the more disappointing rockets that's ever been built. I mean, it's like Columbia back problem lines. Uh, yeah, like NASA has like obviously a fuck up in their history after this. Astounding achievement in the sixties, blinding success. I can't. You you should be like going so much further beyond that. It's been fifty years. We've been waiting. Like, yeah, guess what you've achieved? The public has lost interest, that or people are losing interest. I spoke to a guy last night, a friend of mine at college. Um, you know, he loves all this as well. We all do. We all love it. We're, we're kicking around the idea of building a rocket, you know, a little rocket by NASA standards. But he's like, I oh, will never really do it in my lifetime. Like, fucking hell, you're 19. Like, yeah, didn't really happen in my parents' lifetime. Didn't really happen in my grandparents' lifetime towards the end of that. Like, I guess, well, like, like we got to the moon in the 60s. Yeah, why aren't we at Mars and the rest of it? Like, it's the reasons why we're not to do with more than our lack of technological expertise or our lack of technology. I don't think we actually did lack the technology to do it. We lack political will, and we had Richard Nixon come funding to NASA. Why? So you can go blow up Vietnamese children with napalm, or burn them alive in the jungle. USA, USA, what a fucking brilliant nation you are. 